Assalamualaikum. Hey guys. So how are you guys doing today? <laughs> well, I hope you guys are doing extremely well during this pandemic season. And according to the National Institute of Mental Health, from 2010 to 2018, the number of adolescents who experienced at least one depressive episode increased from 9 to 14%. And according to another study, average of teenagers that sends over 110 text messages per day. And if this stalling statistic reveal anything to us, is that there no longer appears to be fine line between our real and online world. In fact, the digital grid has left a little time or opportunity to disconnect and it's making our life miserable. So, for today's video, I would like to seek and convey to you guys the dangers of relying too much on your smartphone to satisfy yourself, which will make our life miserable in the future, and the importance of being able to pull the plug and disconnect for a prolonged period of time. draw you in for three main reasons. First, getting rapid feedback. Second, you can click on something that you want and are immediately notified in the form of a result or an update. And because there's no delay, you're that much more convinced to keep using your device. It's a metrification, if you call it like that. Smartphone use is taken and repackaged as a friendly competition with your friends, a badge, slash achievement based game, or a high score. And when we use this application that mentally infect us, and it will keep us on these platforms for a really, really, really long time. The third and final way is by having an endless stream of information, and you will have an infinite dopamine rush that can come to you whenever you may be feeling stressed, alone, tired, or just you felt um, flat out bored. And smartphone companies know this, know about this, and application developers are using this as their main incentive to keep you on their particular platform. Now, this is why it is bad for you. Well, for one, this constant stimulation is creating a generation-wide fear of being alone. Think about it. When in times of stress, you can turn to FB or Insta or Snapchat or you are constantly conditioned by noises like this or this. Then are you really, really ever feel alone? Okay, now... Let's all be honest here. We all have our own social media, right? You have your own social media. I have my own social media too. It doesn't matter the platforms. And including your friends, your families, they all have their own social media too, right? So we see their pictures and their posts and their stories. But when was the last time that one of us called them up for, you know, just to ask them how are they doing or maybe just to call them to know about their health, their well-being or just simply give them um, a ring and say that, hey, how are you doing? Ah, something like that. Or maybe invite them to your house or even drink a coffee. But let's get in mind, we are in a pandemic season, so social distancing, guys. Okay, so now what I really meant to say is that instead we find it socially acceptable to just throw them a like or a comment and move on with our day and keep scrolling and you see this is deeply problematic because if the purpose of social networks is to bring our lives closer together and create this amazing and lasting friendship or relationship and if this is how we use these platforms then what are we doing to ourselves in this day and age? 
it seems nearly impossible to go to somewhere and not see someone that is glued to their smartphones. More importantly, it seems that we like to have this amazing experience with the people around us, but also have this insufferable need to share it with the world in a wide um, glamour of messages and notifications and likes and comments as if that somehow makes whatever we are doing cooler or something. Now, I don't want to sound cynical because I do believe that smartphones is an incredible invention and it also has some incredible benefits. But I simply believe that the next time you hang out with your families, with your friends, your relatives even, or even your beloved ones, just cut out with all your electronic devices. Go on, on a wonderful adventure, or even spend some time for yourself. Try turning off your phone, disconnect for a little while, um, while you unplug, and just care about you about you, the people around you, your surrounding, the world. After all, isn't that what's more important? If you can't resist, okay, fine, just take a picture. But does it really, really need to go on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat? Do you really need to pose it so that other people know what you're doing right now, so that other people know um, or you're taking this picture so uh, your location is here, you're doing this at the moment. Does it really necessary? All I'm saying is that when, whenever or whatever you do, and that includes something that is wonderful, the validation that you're having a great time should come from you, from you yourself, and the people sitting next to your left and your right, not someone who is sitting behind the computer screen. We don't need the approval or the validation from the people behind the computer screen or the phone screen to let them know that you're having a great time or you can be happy so on and so forth. Think about it. And that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am truly, extremely appreciative of your viewership. Thank you guys so much. And I really, really hope you guys are doing extremely well too mentally and physically during this period of time. We are having a hard time, but just hang in there, okay? You guys, you guys can do this. Um, also, happy Eid Mubara. I hope I'm not too late to wish you guys. That is all. Thank you guys once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.